Good evening and welcome to this edition of News Leader on 6. And tonight's news to political newcomer Tim Brown wins the Coffee County Democratic primary for county mayor. There's been a major recall on thermostats for your home, and East Lincoln Elementary students join the Tullahoma Police Department in celebration of National Bike Ride Your Bike to School Day last week. We'll have these stories and more on tonight's News Leader on 6. Hi, I'm Terry Stroop with Stroop's Accurate Refrigeration, your number one hometown HVAC company. We offer dependable and reliable service on all your HVAC equipment. We also offer high efficiency trained cooling units with some special financing through the end of June. Call us for your cooling needs. Your comfort is what we do. It's summer, call trips. Spring cleaning has begun at Russell Barnett, Ford, Tullahoma, and Winchester with rebates and incentives up to $10,000 and 0% financing available on select models. Now is the time to buy. Russell Barnett Ford is offering top dollar for your trade during the spring cleaning sales event. Stop by one of our locations, Russell Barnett Ford of Tullahoma and Russell Barnett Ford of Winchester or visit us on the web at russellbarnett.com. And remember, why buy anywhere else? Lawn Chairs, good food, fine company, and smooth sounds. You're invited to the Rock Creek Music and Art Festival Saturday, May 10th at Fraser McEwen Park. Cumberland Blues, upbeat blues music will be headlining starting at 8.30. Local bands, local artwork, face painting, picnic in the park, and more. Concessions available on-site, and guests are welcome to bring needed picnic supplies. Come, celebrate spring in Tullahoma with a free, fun-filled family night of music and art. The evening lineup starts with Marion Galbraith, 5 p.m. The Midget Wrestlers and Cumberland Blue at 8.30. For more information, go to TullahomaTN.gov. Welcome back. Political newcomer Tim Brown is the apparent winner of a close race for the Democratic nomination for Coffee County Mayor. According to unofficial results, Brown, a military veteran, collected 2,304 votes during the Tuesday primary. Manchester businessman and former alderman Bill Nichols garnered 2,223 votes. Brown won by a 51 percent to 49 percent margin. Brown will face Republican nominee Gary Cordell in the August general election. Incumbent Coffee County General Sessions Judge Jerry Ledslinger, e Jerry Ledsinger easily turned back a re-election challenge Tuesday. Ledslinger picked up more than 60 percent of the vote in the Democratic primary, collecting 2,658 votes to 1,765 votes cast for Assistant Prosecutor Jason Ponder. White Rogers, manufacturers of home heating and cooling thermostats, is recalling some of its units due to fire hazard. They say the alkaline batteries used in the thermostat can leak onto the circuit board, posing a, a fire risk. The firm has received seven reports of burn damage to the thermostat, including two involving minor property damage. No injuries have been reported as of night yet. This recall involves four models of White Rogers digital thermostats. The thermostats are white with blue lighted screens and have one of the following names printed on the front of them. Comfort Sentry, Dico, Emerson, Frigidaire, Maytag, Newtone, Partners Choice, Ream, Rudd, Unico, Water Furnished, Westinghouse, White Rogers, or Zone First. The thermostats have a battery door on the top left corner. There are three or four buttons to the right and, and also below the thermostat screen. Recall thermostats do not show a battery icon on the left side of the blue lighted screen. The thermostats were sold at heating, ventilation, and air conditioning equipment manufacturers and distributors and at hardware retailers nationwide from January 2006 through December 2013 for about thirty to seventy dollars. Some seven hundred and forty thousand units were sold in the United States. Consumers should check thermostats for a battery icon on the left side of the blue lighted panel. If the battery icon is not shown, contact White Rogers to receive a free repair or replacement thermostat. The Tennessee Valley Authority reported Tuesday that operating revenues for the six months ending March 31, 2014 were unchanged from the same period a year ago despite lower revenues from directly served industries. President and CEO Bill Johnson said, quote, power sales to the 155 local power companies that distribute TVA power across the Tennessee Valley were up almost 8 percent for the first six months of this physical year. This was largely the result of the cold weather, particularly in the second quarter, but it also reflects a small and encouraging sign of underlying improvement, end quote.
Total sales were down 2% for the first half of the year compared with the same period in 2013, impacted by lower sales to industries directly served by TVA, particularly U.S. Enrichment Corporation, TVA's largest directly served customer until it closed last year. For the first six months, TVA had $228 million in net income on $5.3 billion in operating revenue compared with a net loss of $191 million on similar operating revenues for the first half of 2013. East Lincoln Elementary students joined the Tullahoma Police Bike Patrol on Wednesday as they participated in National Bike to School Day. 30 students rode their bikes to school to bring awareness to the fun and health benefits of biking to school. Principal Jane Fisher awarded each student with a certificate. Officers who joined Bike to School Day were Officer Chase Sons, Officer Derek Darlene, Officer Darren Gadigan, and Officer Ma uh, Matt Watson. Stay with us, we'll be right back in a moment with more News Leader on 6. Hi, I'm John Greenwood. Let me tell you a few of the ways our parts and service team is committed to keeping your vehicle in top condition. Factory trained, certified technicians and ASC certified who can service all makes and models. Everyday low price oil change of $29.95 with a free 16 point vehicle inspection. For your convenience, schedule your next service appointment at stanmcnab.com. We'll get you in and out. Back on the road with peace of mind, Stan McNabb Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, 1200 East Carroll, right here in Tullahoma, Tennessee. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention please for the following public service announcement. He's back. The Watkins Man is back, bringing his world-famous Watkins products to 104 East Lauderdale Street in Tellahoma, where Richard and Stephanie Carpenter have opened the area's only Watkins store. Since 1886, Watkins has produced all natural products, starting with the pain liniment and now including soaps, oils, creams, scrubs, royal jelly, beeswax, supplements dedicated to natural health and pain management, cover total external and internal body care. And don't forget the world-famous spices, extracts, teas and cooking ingredients with too many products to list know that all Watkins products are 100% natural using the highest quality ingredients obtainable always remember with Watkins when you buy the best you use less life moves fast but on the internet it moves at super speed like the awesome video that was posted last night today it'll be shared then adored then parodied then overexposed and by tomorrow morning rediscovered by a whole new generation of users download faster upload faster stream faster and experience life at the speed of internet with high-speed charter internet Welcome back. First Baptist Church in Shelbyville is currently hosting a food ministry program in conjunction with the Second Harvest Food Bank. Committee members and volunteers encourage Shelbyville and Bedford County residents to pick up food boxes each month at the church. It's a great cause and very successful while helping those in need. Marilyn Ewing spoke with committee member Sharon Trice about this great community service program. Mount Zion Baptist Church proudly hosts a local food ministry in Shelbyville not once, but twice a month, in conjunction with the Second Harvest Food Bank, helping those in need in Shelbyville and Bedford County. I spoke with committee member Sharon Trice recently on this great cause for a community in need. We're here live and on location here in Shelbyville, Tennessee. It is Mount Zion Baptist Church. It is their food outreach ministry. And uh, Sharon Trice is with us, joining us uh, on this event. Uh, Sharon, want to say welcome to News Leader on 6. And I think this is a wonderful thing that uh, you're doing for the community of Shelbyville and Bedford County. And just tell me a little bit about this. How long has it been in existence, actually? Well, Mount Zion uh, partnership with uh, Second Harvest Food Bank in January. So this is actually our fifth month to give out food to help uh, the needy in the community. Wow. How does a program actually start like this? I saw the trucks rolling in with just tons of stuff there. How did you actually get started in getting the food rolling this way? Well, what we do is that you have to fill out information for the Second Harvest Food Bank. Okay. They'll come and check out your facility and let you know whether or not you can be a partner. It's $25 uh, for application fee. Mm -hmm. uh, and then on the first Monday and the fourth Tuesday of each month, mm -hmm. we meet out in the old Kmart shopping center and it's a big second harvest truck that comes and it brings pallet after pallet after yes. pallet yeah. of food yeah. and then I have a crew that come and help me yes. to get it inside the building where we can make boxes and we can give it out to the people. Wow. 
Exactly. Tell me about those eligible to maybe to receive some of the food that you're giving away. Anyone is eligible. If you come, you're eligible. Uh, There's no turning down anyone. Yeah. Um, you know, it's for the needy, the sick, the shut-in, mm -hmm. and infants, anybody that's in need. Sure. If you come, you can get a box. Wow. You're just to be commended. Thank you so much. Well, I'm so you. glad. No, it's, it's not me. We give all the honor, glory to God. There you go. There you go. Yes. Absolutely. Well, keep going forward on this. You're uh, just making folks happy here in Shelbyville, Beverly <laughs> oh, yes. County, and you can't do more than that. So thank you for talking with me. Thank you for having us. Absolutely. It is the Mount Zion Baptist Church, Shelbyville, Tennessee. It's the corner of Woodbury and Hill Street. It is their food outreach uh, ministry. It's all in conjunction for the uh, Second Harvest Food Bank. So uh, get those particulars. They're going to be on the screen as far as the particular days, the location, and things of that nature. That's another segment. We've been speaking with Sharon Trice from Mount Zion Baptist Church of Shelbyville. I'm Marilyn Ewing for News Leader on 6. We have Teresa White with us uh, in the community. Teresa, I want to say hello and uh, kind of give me what this means to you when this happens uh, like today in, in receiving all of this good food. Well, you know, it's like this. If people need help and stuff and stuff, like people need food and stuff, you know, I'm glad they do this to people because, you know, like, you know, if people need food and stuff, yes. you know, people can't go and get it. Mm -hmm. They come out here and get help people and yeah. stuff and all that. Yeah. And I'm glad they do it because, right. you know, some people is really, really sick and uh, they can't, like I said, they can't drive or nothing like That's that. Right. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad, thank the Lord, they do this for people. You know, they didn't have to do this for people if they didn't want to. Exactly. You know, that and stuff. Sure. And stuff and all thank you for do. talking with us on News Leader Run 6. And the Mount Zion Baptist Church Second Harvest Food Bank Food Ministry is every first Monday and every fourth Tuesday of each month in Shelbyville. There are no eligibility requirements, and it is absolutely free. <clears throat> More news later on 6 is coming up in a moment. Let the smokehouse be your mountain getaway destination in beautiful Monteagle, Tennessee. Enjoy our cabins, restaurant, and old general store. Shop the smokehouse.com featuring homemade barbecue sauces, jellies, and many other fine Tennessee products. Our live Music on the Mountain series features some of the best local and Nashville talent every Friday and Saturday night, 6.30 p.m. No cover, kids welcome. Looking for a unique gift for someone special, or perhaps something just for yourself? Then you need to check out Grady Mac Denim Company, right here in the heart of Tullahoma. Grady Mac features the full line of men's and women's Lucky brand apparel. Stop in and check out our denim production line. Grady Mac offers a full line of outdoor sporting apparel, and much more. And check out our custom fly fishing equipment, fine art, and fine sports memorabilia. There's something for everyone at Grady Mac Denim Company, the most unique store in Tullahoma. When you're running late headed to that sporting event or horse show and hungry but need gas, you don't have to choose which to get. Just stop at any quick mart where gas prices are normal and the food is outstanding. Burgers, fries, salads, sub sandwiches, chicken strips, egg rolls, even pizza can be picked up while the gas is pumping. Stop by any quick mart today and not only save time but enjoy some good cooking, southern hospitality, and prices you can live with. Welcome back. The annual Southern Wheels in Motion Car Show is coming up soon. We caught up with club member Mike, Jer uh, Mike Cunningham recently as he was assisting another car club in Winchester with their show. Wood Festival, we thought we'd uh, stop by this car show out here at uh, Frank uh, Fr it used to be Franklin County High School, the Franklin County High School old football field. And uh, we run into Mike Cunningham, who we've discovered has started a new career uh, as a DJ, because that's what he's doing here today. But uh, he's with, of course, uh, Southern Wheels in Motion uh, Car Club. And I, I noticed today as I was looking for events to cover that uh, you guys really uh, try to help other car clubs uh, publicize their shows as well. Yeah, we do, Jim. It's one of those things where, you know, yeah, we're competitors as far as cars go, but... Uh, when we're all giving to charities and that sort of thing, that's what we want to do is make sure that we get uh, the word out for everybody. If they're out there, the car shows, the cruise ins, uh, the flyers, that sort of thing. So, you know, we want to make sure we get the word out because car guys love to go to car shows and cruise ins. And that's what we want to do is get the word out. You know, I'm just wondering, just for my own information here, now, you're here today uh, doing the DJ job, so did you d drive one of your classic cars over here, or did you drive your regular daily driver? No, I had to bring it in a truck. I can't get a 
I can't get all that in the trunk of my Torino, so uh, I have to bring it over in a truck. But uh, it's fun. I've been doing it for uh, since 1995, on and off, and I don't really do it advertised wise, but I just do it to help out some of the local car shows and cruise ins and that sort of thing. So it it just it just makes it more additional to a, a car show or cruise in having the oldie style of music and. Uh, I kind of got into it because it was one of those things where when I when I got into this, I was hearing the same 10 songs over and over again at a cruise in and going to school as a as a radio broadcasting uh, major and that sort of thing. I thought, I know I can do a little better than that. So uh, I just kind of got into it as a hobby, and that's the way I've handled it from then on. You got a big show. Or you guys at Southern Wheels in Motion got a big show coming up next month. Uh, uh, tell us a little bit about that, when it is and such. Well, it's our 22nd annual car and truck show. It's an open car and truck show, and uh, it's going to be held June 21st. It's third Saturday in June, in case you can't remember that date. But uh, it's always held at the South Jackson Civic Center, which is a tremendous area for us to be able to put on that show. And Fran and all the group down there really work with us and helping us uh, with that uh, Civic, City, Civic Center grounds. And, and it really helps us to put on a great show. You have the shade, you have the grass, you have a little concrete now and then, but uh, overall it makes a really gr- great arena to put on a car show. And uh, normally, if the weather is nice, we'll draw 200, 250 vehicles down there. Uh, last year was an exception with uh, John Schneider being here, but uh, this year will be more of a normal car show for us, and uh, we're kind of ready for that too because that was – that was a lot of work last year, but we had a lot of fun, and we made up a lot of money for ch- charities in the local area, and that's what we're all about. So. You know, uh, last year's show, I think, went over 300 cars. I know you had uh, the police and the fire department there helping uh, uh, reroute traffic around some of the side streets there, uh, but you say your normal uh, turnout for that's about 250. Right. That's If the weather is good, we'll get anywhere from 200, 225 to 50 cars, and that's, that's good. That fills up the front of the area at the Civic Center and allows us to be able to judge those cars and do it in a timely manner and be able to get them out of there by 3, 3.30. And uh, we don't have to have the police or the fire engines out there to, to help us with that. And that we're very grateful for them because they really helped us because John had John Snyder had eight to 900 people signing autographs for that. And we had to be able to put those people somewhere. And the police department was really, really tremendous in helping us with that. You know, uh, you also mentioned uh, raising a lot of money, and mo- and you give away everything. I know that you guys make. And uh, best I remember, you guys have given away a phenomenal amount of money in your time that uh, you've been in existence. Yeah, we we started the car club in 1993, and uh, ever since then, we've we're right over a quarter of a million dollars that we've given all to local type charities. I, and I'm talking the four county area, you know, Franklin County, Moore County, Coffee County, and Bedford County. Those are the four primary areas that uh, most of our charity dollars go into. And, and they're not just your your big time charities that you hear. It could be any type of a somebody needs help with a with a a bill to be paid or a, a, a child needs a senior ring and he can't afford one we've we've done that before uh, a fire a fire burns a house down and we help with that person getting back on his feet again so there's all kinds of things that we do along with the normal type char- charities that we do work with so it's 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 a good deal we really enjoy it Okay, uh, Mike. Uh, Mike had to put on a song that lasted a, 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 about ten minutes so we could do this interview because he's actually, as I said, doing doing the uh, the DJ in here at this event here today. But uh, don't forget that, ladies and gentlemen, uh, third uh, Saturday in June, South Jackson Civic Center in Tullahoma. That's going to be Southern Wheels in Motion, uh, one of the biggest car shows and one of the nicest car shows you're going to see. Mike, thank you so much, man. I want to remind everybody that is. For spectators, it is a free event, so you want to make sure that you come out there and see some great-looking cars. doesn't cost you a dime. All right. Don't miss it, folks. It's a great deal. We'll be right back after these messages. The highest standard of integrity delivers stability and honor. It's established over time. You know when you see it. You know when you feel it. There's a standard of integrity in healthcare. It's the Joint Commission Gold Seal of Approval. In 2003, 
Life Care Center of Tullahoma voluntarily achieved this accreditation and maintains it still today. Life Care, meeting a higher standard because residents matter most. We're losing it, doctor. Not on my shift quickly, brush. Roller. What a transformation. It's gonna be okay. Okay, nothing. At Paintworks of Tullahoma, we specialize in domestic emergencies with Martin Senior Paints. You can be the paint doctor too when you treat your home with Martin Senior interior and exterior finishes. Doctor, we've got another one. Got you covered. Paintworks of Tullahoma. Come see the paint doctor stat. Have you met your perfect match? It's here at Merle Norman. With over 190 shades, 13 formulas, and four finishes, we'll help you select the one that's just right for you. Ask for your free foundation check today. Merle Norman, made in the USA. Visit your nearest Merle Norman Cosmetics Studio for your personalized service. Welcome back to Rock Creek Concert and Art Show is coming up this Saturday in Tullahoma. Jason Waller and Winston Brooks stopped by our studios this week to provide us with details as to what we can expect. We've got some great, great activities going on that we wanted to talk about today. We've got a Rock Creek Concert Series that's going to be um, down at the park on this Saturday, which is May 10th. May 10th, and uh, Jason Waller has been working really hard to get this uh, event set up. It's going to be a lot of fun, and it's going to be from noon until 10.30. Mm -hmm. And um, we've got a little clip that we're going to show, too. Okay, you want it now? Um, yeah, it's, we'll, it's ready whenever you want We'll it. go ahead and watch that, and then we'll come back and fill you in okay. on the rest of the details. Let's, let's play that clip right now. Play the music y'all playing. Well, I mean, what inspired me to play really the blues exactly is, I mean... I've just been listening to it my whole life, and I love it so much, and I've just, I've been playing for so long, you know. I got inspired by a lot of new and old stuff. I listened to a lot of um, John Mayer, Joe Bonamassa, Darren Trucks, and now I listen to stuff like Led Zeppelin and the Allman Brothers and, you know, every, everything in that genre. How did you like playing so long last year? Oh, it was awesome. It was sick. And it was the first, it was the first uh, outdoor show we played at night with like lights and everything. So they had all the lights and it was so much fun. How long have you been playing the drums? Well, I started out doing uh, pots and pans, so basically forever. Um, I've always said that if, if I can, if I can make a substantial living for myself playing music, no matter what that is, no matter what, to what degree that is, um, I'll be really happy with my life. So. As long as I'm playing music and supporting myself doing that, then that's where I hope to see myself. Oh, I love Tullahoma. We love Tullahoma, and we still talk about it pretty much every time we're together because it was like the first show where I think maybe it was because Rocky joined us and it was like we just knew it was bright and the lights and it was you know our nighttime show and it was just really cool. It was like basically my first moment where I felt like a rock star and I felt like this is this is what I want to do, you know. So it was really awesome. That was uh, Cumberland Blues. Okay, now they're going to be one of the acts, obviously, this weekend. They'll be our headliner. Yeah, right, okay. And uh, I think that this is like a music and art show combined, is, is it not? Or yes, is it is. It? Yeah, okay. We're going to have uh, art vendors down there uh, on the Greenways showing uh -huh. their art off and stuff like that. Right. And then around noon, we'll start our local artists playing. I see. And then about 5.30, uh, we've got our other artists coming in. Uh, we got Coming Blue playing at 8.30, and then the Midget Wrestlers playing at 6.30, and then our 5.30 show is... Marion Galbraith, who, right. she's a local favorite. Yes, absolutely. She is a quite popular and, yeah. and very, very good as and, well. And the Midget Wrestlers are um, <coughs> Kyle Copeland, John Cook, I can't remember the bass player's name right now, yeah. but they are uh, a fabulous I could, group. I could have told you that if you hadn't asked, if you hadn't <laughs> mentioned it, but... So it's going to be a great time, and, and the Tullahoma Art Council has, has worked real hard. Marion Coleman um, has, has brought uh, Peggy Burton's voice students are, are going to be down there as well. 
uh, singing, and they've worked. They're going to have uh, from 12 to 5. There's going to be a full schedule of music uh, during that time before the professional acts start. And there's going to be art vendors. Um, there's going to be food uh, concessions, but you're also encouraged to bring your picnic supplies. So we're encouraging everyone to come out, bring your blankets, your lawn chairs. Get settled in, and uh, as we heard Cumberland Blue talk about it, it's a special night because it's a, a nighttime outdoor concert. The Coffee County Humane Society's featured pets this week are peaches and cream. They are German Shepherd litter mates. The shelter also has many other dogs available for adoption at 1210 Oakdale Street in Manchester. Hours of operation at the shelter are 7.30 a.m. until 2.30 p.m. Monday through Friday. The shelter's phone number is 723-2711 or 723-2730. Donations for animal care can be made to the Coffee County Humane Society at Post Office Box 252, Manchester, Tennessee, 37349. And their website is www.coffeehumane.org. The pet of the week this week at the Tullahoma Animal Shelter is Coco. Coco entered the shelter as an owner turn-in. She's approximately four years old, housebroken, and gets along well with other pets and children. Coco will receive a free vet check and, and spay with the $35 adoption fee. Microchip identification is also available to all dogs available adopted for a $15 or greater donation to the shelter. For more details, contact Teresa at 454-9580. The Tullahoma Animal Shelter is located at 942 Maplewood Avenue. We'll be right back in a moment with your weather forecast. We've got Kias coming out of our ears at Russell Barnett Kia. We've never had this much inventory to choose from, and that means it's a great time to buy. Check out the 2014 Kia Optima, 0% financing available in 60 months. For up to $6,000 off, select Kia Sorrentos. With America's best warranty, the 10-year 100,000-mile powertrain warranty, Kia is the power to surprise. So come on down and help us clean out our ears at Russell Barnett Kia. And remember, why buy anywhere else? All right, the cat's out of the bag at Carroll Street Liquor in Tullahoma. Now you know where to go if you're planning a get-together and want the ideal wine or spirit. Party planning can be stressful, but at Carroll Street Liquor, you'll find everything you need. Mixers, gift sets, and all of your favorite spirit brands. So if you're feeling the pressure to pull off the ideal party, come to Carroll Street Liquor and select among the seemingly endless supply of wines, spirits, gift sets, and more. Your perfect party, it's in the bag with Carroll Street Liquors. Welcome back. We'll take a look at your weather forecast at this time, starting with your weather history on this day. Our record high was in 1952 at 89 degrees. The record low was in 1931 at 36 degrees. The average high on this day is 75 degrees, and the average low is 53. Mostly clear weather in your forecast for tonight with a low of around 61. Thunderstorms expected on Friday with a high of 74 and a low of 61, and those thunderstorms remain a possibility for Saturday with a high of 77 and a low of 62. And that's our news leader report for this evening. We invite you to join us each Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 6, 8, and 10 for News Leader on 6. You have a great evening.